Hey guys, I'm guessing you've probably been solving inequalities and then drawing a graph and now we're just going the other way where you're being given a graph and asked to say what the inequality is. So this isn't too tricky as long as you know what to look at. So we need to look at um, where our dot is, what number it's above, if it's an open or closed circle and then which way the arrow goes, okay? So we are gonna start out just with a variable. You can pick whatever you want. For some reason in math, we just like X. It's our favorite. So we're going to have X, and then we know 4 is of some significance here, right? Because that is where my open circle is. So we know we have X and 4, and then we just need to figure out what variable goes here, right? And it could be greater than, it could be less than, it could be greater than or equal to, it could be less than or equal to, okay? Um... What tells me which one it is, is if it's open or closed and which way the arrow is going, okay? Since it is an open circle, I know it is one of the top two, okay? It is either greater than or less than. We don't have the equal to, okay? Um, so now we just need to figure out which one it is. So we are looking at, my arrow goes to the left. The numbers to the left of four are smaller than four, right? So this represents what X can be. And it's going to the left of 4, so it's numbers less than 4. Okay? So our inequality is x is less than 4. Okay? Next one, we're going to pick another variable. Let's do, ooh, let's do m this time just to shake things up. All right? This time I have um, my dot is over negative 1. So we know negative 1 is important. It's key to this. And then above negative one is a closed circle, which means it's gonna be one of these bottom two because when it's a closed circle, it's telling me this can be negative one and anything bigger than negative one. On this one, it was telling us it can be anything less than four, but not four itself, okay? So that's the difference there. So I know it's gonna be one of the bottom two. My arrow is going to the right, which is numbers bigger than negative one, okay? So this represents what M can be. So M is any number greater than or equal to negative one. All right, that's your answer. I will link some more um, inequality videos if you need them, but hopefully that made sense, bye.